Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and in this video, we're going to look at the toggle function in jQuery. Now, we've already looked at creating a function called hide element. However, what happens if we want to hide the element but then reshow it? At the moment, the only thing we have is a button to hide the uh, paragraph that we've created, but when we click on it again, the element is already hidden and therefore we need it to be shown. Now, there are a couple of ways uh, other than using toggle that we can tackle this problem. We could have two buttons, for example, one called show and one called hide. However, what we might want to do is just have a single button that will hide and show it depending on its current state. So let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, function here. We'll keep that function just for reference, but we're going to create a new function called toggle. Uh, we'll call it toggle element so we know what we're referencing to. So we create a function called toggle element. Again, we're taking the element in and we can also take the speed. Now let's go and um, write this function in. So toggle element. Um, and we want to again reference the paragraph. So, oops, sorry, we need hash paragraph and the speed. This time, when we write our function, we're not going to use the hide function, but we're going to use the toggle function. So let's again reference element. This is what's taken in from the parameter that we give to this function. And then we say dot toggle. Now in brackets, we can give a speed. There are other um, parameters you can give this. So go ahead to the jQuery website and the documentation, and you'll be able to see these. But this time, what's going to happen is uh, let's change this value to hide show or let's call it toggle and when we refresh the page we can see when we click toggle it disappears however when we click toggle again it actually reappears so how is toggle useful in creating websites or you know applying this to current content at the moment this seems like a pretty useless example I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of the paragraph and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the button now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of div uh, elements that are going to uh, show some content or contain some content that I may want to hide or get rid of. Now, remember, we still have our function in here, so we can make use of that and we can give it a specific element. Let's go ahead and create a hyperlink and we'll surround that in H3 tags uh, so we get a, a large scale text or a header, an HTML header. Um, I'm going to create a um, almost like a social networking example, I guess. Uh, basic info, and let's go down and say, well, we can just copy this, to save a bit of time, paste that in there, and let's say um, contact information. Okay, so now what we have, sorry, basic info. Now what we have, let's just refresh we have a hyperlink basic info and contact information. Now what I want to happen is I want to be able to click on this element here, this hyperlink here, and for a list of um, information to drop down. This could be an HTML form or it could just be static information. The same with contact information as well. So let's go ahead and under here create a div with an ID. That's very important because remember to hide and, sh and close this, we need to reference it with an ID. And I'm going to call this basic info. I'm going to do the same and I'm going to copy and paste this down here. Let's just pull this up so we know what belongs to what. And I'm going to call this contact information. Okay. So in here, we can actually enter the uh, information we want. So basic info uh, name Alex, age 21. And here we can say, telephone one two three four five six seven eight nine and we can break down and say email alex at phpacademy.org okay so now we have uh, some information laid out for us here however what we want to do is be able to click this click this and to hide both elements and then we want to reshow them when we click it again so the first thing we want to do is either decide whether we want these to be shown or hidden upon start. Now you can do this using uh, CSS. You can use the uh, visibility um, option to choose hidden or, uh, 
or um, you can leave that out for it to be shown. However, I'm going to have them default shown. Now let's go ahead and give um, a, or, well, we don't need an, um, an href, we can just put a hash in there, but we need to give the uh, a tag an on click event because it supports the on click event. And we're going to do the same for the contact information in just a moment. And in here we can actually use our function. So let's go ahead and type in toggle element. And I want to toggle um, basic, oh, sorry, hash basic info because we're referencing the ID of this div here. And I want to do that at a speed of 500. Um, we can do exactly the same here. We can say on click equals toggle element. Again, we reference a um, an ID, which is contact information. You might want to keep your variable names a bit shorter. And uh, again, with a speed of 500. Now, when we refresh the page, we have the same information. However, when we click, you can see that that information disappears. And when we click again, that information reappears. So this is a more practical example of why you might want to use toggle. Okay, so what happens if we want to hide all of our um, elements that we currently have um, the ability to hide and show manually? Now, let's take a look at our page. If the user wanted to hide all of them, for example, let's say you had 10 of these sections you wanted the user to show and hide, you can actually create or rather use your existing function to hide all of them. Now, common sense might say to you, you want to go and create a function called toggle all or something like that. However, what we can actually do because of the way we've created our function, instead of specifying a particular element, we can specify a set of elements we want to hide. For example, we, we might want to hide all div elements. And because we are using divs for each of these, we can just go ahead and use the same function. So let's just create a, a, a link. So href, sorry, a href equals hash as we did here because we're not using a link to anywhere. Um, then we say on click equals something. Let's end the tag. And here we can say toggle all. Now the on click function is going to take the toggle element function. Again, we have a speed of 500, but this time instead of putting hash and referencing a particular um, element ID, we can just put div. And you can use this for all different types of elements, for example, paragraphs, A, uh, but in this case, it's div because we're using divs for each of the uh, information. So let's go ahead and uh, refresh the page. We can, uh, the same as we did before, we can hide and show different information. However, if we want to, if we, sorry, if we now click toggle all, you can see that it toggles the two divs uh, because we've referenced the actual div. So you can see that as well as it being very powerful uh, in terms of animation, it's also extremely flexible. So you can hide either specific elements by referencing their name with a hash, or you can hide elements in general by just giving the element name.